Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQ-8 tech tip on Legionella bacteria. Legionella bacteria has been in the news lately thanks to a major outbreak of Legionnaire's disease in New York City, which was traced back to a hotel cooling tower. This tech tip video is for indoor air quality consultants who are considering doing Legionella work. 2015 has seen the publication of an important standard and new reference book. If you'll be working with Legionella, you'll want to get both. The standard I'm referring to was developed by ASHRAE and is titled Standard 188 Legionellosis Risk Management for Building Water Systems. This is a highly anticipated ANSI approved standard that took more than four years to publish after its initial public review. As an ANSI standard, expect jurisdictions to adopt certain parts of the standard, which has already happened in New York City. The standard is designed to help building owners and operators better manage their Legionella risk. The ASHRAE standard doesn't go into depth regarding sampling for Legionella bacteria. However, the American Industrial Hygiene Association, or AIHA, recently published a document which better describes the role of a consultant who may be hired to collect water samples for Legionella. It's titled Recognition, Evaluation, and Control of Legionella in Building Water Systems. Although it's not an ANSI approved standard, it does provide practical guidance for the collection of samples. A word of caution before convincing building owners to test their water systems for Legionella Sampling should be performed within the context of an entire management plan. Samples have the greatest impact when used to evaluate the effectiveness of controls in place. Thanks to the publication of ASHRAE Standard 188 and the recent high profile outbreaks of Legionnaire's disease, I suspect indoor air quality consultants will be getting many more phone calls regarding Legionella bacteria. Now you're aware of some new resources to set you off on the right path. To learn more about indoor air quality and the IAQA, including its training programs and publications, visit iaqa.org.